Beverage packages, they are the number one added on item to cruise reservations. Some of you Islanders, you opt for the non-alcoholic beverage package. You just need the juices. You just need the soda. That's what you go for. Some of you Islanders say, I need a stiff drink. I need an alcoholic drink. You want to sip back and relax. Why are we talking about beverage packages on the show today? One brand, one cruise line from Carnival Corporation is changing their beverage package option. We're going to share that news with you. Could this one brand changing their beverage package offering go to other brands within Carnival Corporation? We're going to share that. Plus, it's almost hurricane season. A lot of us cruise during hurricane season. We're going to talk about the upcoming season and some things to consider if you're cruising in the Caribbean uh, from June until November. We're also going to share news from Jamaica as they are seeing a high number of passengers visit the Port of Call in 2023 and share the latest. We leave in 48 hours for Barcelona, Spain to get on board the Carnival Venezia. We're excited about that. We all need some time on the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. We hope you had a great weekend and that your week is off to a great start. We are on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's drop our anchors and take some time to relax in the islands together. We are doing it right now, but we're also doing it later tonight. Tonight, 8 o'clock p.m. Central Time, we are going live. We're making up last night's show. We were at the ballpark last night competing in the championship of a tournament, and we are making it up tonight. Be sure you are subscribed. You've rang the bell. Ring the bell. When I click this button that says go live, you will receive that notification. We'll catch up on the latest happenings of each other, answer questions that you have, and share our latest details about our trip coming up in two days. We fly out in two days to Barcelona, Spain. We are so excited to take you with us. There's all kinds of festivities taking place, celebrations in the terminal in Barcelona. There's events happening in New York. Once we get there, ship tours, all of it, you're going with us. Pack your bags. Let's get ready for it. Let's talk about the latest in cruising and cruise news. There's a lot to talk about. Some interesting things to talk about. And let's start the show off with this right here. Carnival Corporation, as we know, owns several cruise lines, right? Princess Cruise Lines, Costa Cruise Lines, p &O, Carnival Cruise Line. They own many different cruise lines, and the cruise lines are operated in different parts of the world. They're operated differently. They have different offerings and products and food selections and ship selections. They are different, but sometimes they test. Carnival Corporation tests one thing with the cruise line, and if it's successful, why would they not move it to another cruise line? That's what we're talking about today. P&O Cruises, owned by Carnival Corporation, announced in the last couple of days that they are making some changes in their drink offerings. Why do I mention this? As I mentioned in the intro, the number one add-on item to a cruise is some sort of beverage package. It may be non-alcoholic, it may be alcoholic, but a lot of passengers add on this one of these packages. And here in North America, cruise lines from North America, there's not a wide array of selections. It's do you want the non-alcoholic package? Do you want the alcoholic package? For most cruise lines selling from the United States, those are the offerings. Those are the options. Could that change? Maybe. We're not saying that it's going to, but I want to share this from P&O. Let's see what changes they've made together. Let's think about would we like some of these changes to be made? If so, we can vocalize those things. We all know that. And maybe, just maybe, some changes will be made to other brands like Carnival Cruise Line selling here from the United States. p o is a British cruise line. They operate in Europe. They are very popular in Europe. They've made some changes. Some of the things uh, that were in place are going to stay the same, but now their drink package offerings have four different packages. A couple of disclaimers before we even get started on this. This package is being rolled out. It is a slow rollout here. It's going to be available on Iona, which is a new cruise ship for P&O. Uh, another disclaimer, whoever is in the cabin, if you're above the age of 21, no matter what four of the packages you select, everyone above the age of 21 has to get the same package. So if someone wants the non-alcoholic, someone wants alcoholic, you can't do it. You have to choose the same package, and there is a max of 15 drinks, just like so many of you are familiar, familiar with 
with cheers for Carnival Cruise Line selling here in the United States. Now, let's talk about these packages. There's four of them. The refresh package is the first package. It's the smallest, most restrictive package. Select juices and sodas. That's it. Refresh. That's all. The price, $12.25 per person per day. Not a bad price for the refresh package. That's package one of four. Number two, the alcohol-free package, it's called. That price goes up to $27.00. And 91 cents. You get everything that's in the refresh package, plus you get a, a bigger selection of sodas. You get coffee in your specialty coffees included in that. And you get premium teas. A lot of people want to see a coffee included in drink packages. This is an option. Still alcohol free, but a bigger selection at just under $28 per person per day. That's package number two. Number three, this is where you start to get into the alcohol, okay? The classic package. It's probably a package that the average cruiser would get and would be happy with. You get your alcoholic drinks, the most popular drinks on ship, right? Not the specialty high-end drinks, but you also get the Cokes, the juices, the coffees. It's very rel relatable to the Cheers offering for Carnival Cruise Line, but that is the third of the fourth package. There's one more. And that's the deluxe. The deluxe package includes everything from the first three packages. It's priced at $61.48. But now you get some of those higher end spirits, the spirits that put you in the good spirit, right? The higher end selections of cocktails and spirits and wines. You also get 20% off any drink that's not included in this package that also comes with the classic package as well. Four different offerings. Something that's different, something you can choose from. The pricing looks great. I love this idea though. P&O is saying that any cruiser above the age of 21 who purchases the classic or deluxe package, the alcohol package, if you, do, if you choose one of those packages, then everyone in your cabin below the age of 16 years old will receive the refresh package for free. So if you're bringing your kiddos and they want the juices and they want the sodas, they get it for free as long as you purchase one of the alcohol packages. I like that idea. I wish that change was made. I've got little ones myself who love uh, juices. Uh, and of course, yes, I can order the juice for them on my package. I know that, but it's easier when they have a package as well. You don't have to explain, I want this and this, or what if I want the Dr. Pepper with my Miller Lite? Uh, now I can't order uh, one of my kiddos something. So it's neat that they're giving that package away as well if you buy one of the alcoholic packages. Now. Will Carnival Cruise Line follow suit in this? We don't know. Princess, don't know. Costa, we don't know. Uh, but it's an interesting concept. A lot of people, they agree that maybe something needs to change or that cruise lines, not just Carnival Cruise Line, but other cruise lines from the United States need to have a different offering. Maybe you have a, a half drink package where you're limited to seven or eight drinks a day and you don't have to pay that huge price that comes with the 15 drinks per day on Carnival or Royal Caribbean. It's unlimited. Do you think drink packages here for Carnival Cruise Line, for Royal Caribbean and others need to change? Would you like to see some of these ideas thrown out by P&O Cruises in cruise lines that you cruise from from the United States? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below if you purchase drink packages and what you would like to see change. We can't wait to hear your ideas. They're always fantastic. Cruise news story number two, it is almost hurricane season. June the 1st is almost here and that is the official start of hurricane season. We get questions all the time. Should I sail during hurricane season? Will cruise lines keep me safe? Will they continue to cruise if there's a hurricane? We get those questions all the time. This, these questions come as there is a disturbance off Turks and Caicos. It's very low confidence that this thing is actually gonna take shape and do anything, very low, below 10%. But it, it's a good opportunity for all of us to think about, yes, this season is approaching. Here's what we do, here's what we don't do. And here's what's, what's to consider if we're cruising in the Caribbean during hurricane season. There's gonna be a hurricane sometime. There's gonna be a tropical storm sometime. We hope that it's not during our planned and booked cruises, right? but it may be, you never know. I wanna mention just a few things to keep in mind this time of year during hurricane season. Number one, cruise lines are going to keep you safe. They have their own teams and technology that watch tropical storms and depressions and hurricanes, all of it. Uh, they will keep you safe. They are not going to cruise in the middle of a hurricane. Your cruise may be booked. You may be uh, supposed to go uh, to the Eastern Caribbean and you're excited about that trip, but there is a storm 
in that part of the Caribbean. And so now they're shifting your crews to the Western Caribbean. Maybe not what you wanted. You've been to those places before. You didn't want that. They're keeping you safe. It's a reminder as well, your excursions. Be sure when you're looking at your excursions for summertime, for hurricane season, that it's listed. Uh, if your ship does not arrive at the port of call because of storms, because of a hurricane, that you get your money back. Carnival or Royal Caribbean or Norwegian cruise lines, if you book with them, they will give you your money back. But if you book independently, some of those companies can keep your money, whether or not the ship visits the port of call or not. So just think about that. Trip insurance is another. There are a lot of people who do not purchase trip insurance ever except during hurricane season because of things change. Hotels sometimes, you have to spend an extra night or two in the hotel. Your, uh, your airfare changes, your plans change. Uh, in Carnival and Royal Caribbean, the major players usually give you like a $250 credit if things change, but that doesn't always cover everything. So you might consider, consider trip insurance during this time of year if you're traveling when usually maybe you don't purchase it at all. Those are just some things to consider. Last thing I'll mention is this. There's some people who say, should I shift uh, where I cruise out of for this time of year? Not necessarily. If you cruise out of Florida, cruise out of Florida. Uh, cruise out of New Orleans and Galveston if you want to. Uh, if it makes you more comfortable to cruise from the east or west coast, you can do that, but know that you're not totally protected. Uh, yes, your odds are better that you won't be impacted, but we've seen hurricanes impact the east coast. So make your plans, plan ahead, uh, and cross your fingers. Usually everything is just fine. It's going to be fine at the end of the day. Cruise lines will keep you safe, uh, and a lot of times cruises are not canceled. They are delayed. Your cruise may be extended by a few days, but usually they're not canceled. Have you ever cruised? during bad weather. Have you been impacted by hurricanes? Let us know in the comments section below. And as we close out this show today, Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica is sharing that they have already welcomed 1.5 million visitors uh, already in 2023. Uh, Minister of Tourism Edmund Bartlett announced this and shared these thoughts here between January the 1st, 2023 and May the 10th. We received 1.5 million visitors, step, uh, stopover and cruise, earning $1.69 billion, putting our destination on par with 2019 record figures. We have seen steady growth in our arrivals and continued investment in the tourism sector, which is a tremendous achievement. Jamaica is a place that gets a bad rap. It does, there are many people who stay on the ship in Jamaica, but there are good things to do. We can help you with those excursion ideas. We have beaches that you can go to. We have been to ourselves. I'm not gonna send you somewhere I hadn't been to, okay? I'm not gonna give you a review that's passed down from someone else. I'm gonna give you my review if you need help with what to do in Jamaica. If you need help planning your cruise, your vacation, we are here to help you at zero cost. Email us, travel at bookislandtime.com. We will help you out. Have you been to Jamaica? Did you enjoy it? I have a feeling the majority are going to say no, but let's see what people say in the comment section below. Islanders, I hope you have a great Monday. We can't wait to see your thoughts, your names, your faces in the comment section below. We will see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.